Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So I hope everybody's doing well and staying safe. So today I'm going to show you how to make this granny square here. It's really pretty easy, um, but you do not have to know how to do uh, like the double crochet three together. I'll show you how to do it, but as long as you have a little bit of experience with that, um, you'll be able to do this. This granny square can be used for lots of things. I think sewing them together would make an awesome top or a lightweight jacket. Um, you can make a bag with it as long as you lined it. That would be beautiful. Uh, you can use this as itself if you made it in like cotton yarn as a nice um, uh, coaster or something like that. Granny squares have many uses for pretty much anything. Blankets, that would be a beautiful blanket. A uh, nice lacy blanket to put on the back of the couch. Okay, anyways. So my granny square measures about seven and a half inches long and you can use any colors that you want these are just the, the two that i use i will say though um at the end um it will take a little bit of manipulation to get these your working single crochets here on the chains to get them to straighten out a good blocking wouldn't hurt but i do mention that in the end of the video but i think it turned out really well so let's go ahead and get started on it I can't wait to see what you guys make with that square. Okay, so uh, like I said, for, for any, you can use uh, any yarn, any color that you want. But for mine, I used um, Big Twist Value. This is from Joann's. It's 100% acrylic, and it's a medium weight number four yarn. You can use any four weight yarn that you have. You can actually use a three weight too, but remember that your uh, granny, square, granny square will turn out a bit smaller. Um, the colors that I use is I have wine and then I use another one and camel. But remember, you can use any colors that you want. You can even make it solid. That's completely up to you. It doesn't take much, uh, maybe 20 yards of each color. That's just guessing. And then I'm going to be using a size I, which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. And also, um, I remember if you do go use like a three weight, go down a hook size to like a five. But remember, your granny square will be um, a bit smaller than mine. So let's go ahead and get started first. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any of my videos. And if you enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and a share if you can. Let's do this. All right, we're going to start off with a slip knot on our hook. Like that. And I'm going to work a chain of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to slip stitch back into the first stitch to form a ring. Just like that. Now I'm going to be working double crochet three togethers through the center of this ring. So I'm going to start out with a chain of three. One, two, three. And I'm going to work a partial double crochet three together since we have this chain three already here. So I'm going to yarn over, go into the loop, or into the ring, draw up a loop, and then I'm going to yarn over and go to the first two loops on my hook. I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to yarn over, go through the ring, Drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops on my hook. Three loops that remain, I'm going to yarn over and go through all three. Alright, now I'm going to start my repeat and I'm going to work a chain of three. One, two, three. And now I'm going to work my complete double crochet three together. So through the center of the ring. So I'm going to yarn over. Go through the center of the ring, draw up a loop, yarn over, and go through the first two loops. I want to do that three times total. So that was number one. Yarn over, go through the loop, draw up, yarn over, go through the first two. That's two times. One more time. I'm going to yarn over, draw up a loop, go through the yarn over, and go through the first two. And now I got four loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and go through all four loops like that. So that's our double crochet th three together. Our beginning one was just a bit different because we had that chain three. 
but we're going to do them like this from now on. So I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and again, I'm going to do another double crochet three together. So I'm going to yarn over, go through the loop or through the ring, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops. I'm going to do that three times. That was number one. Again, yarn over, go through your ring, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two. That was two times. One more time. Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two. Four loops remain. Yarn over and go through all four. Just like that. <clears throat> now you might probably have to keep sliding them down as you go and then we're going to repeat by chaining three one two three and do a double crochet three together again then chain three double crochet three together again and we want to do that until we have a total of eight of these counting this first one one two three so i have three right now and i want a total of eight with chain threes in between so i'll meet back up with you when i get to the end all right, I'm coming to the end and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of my double crochet three together. So after the last one, I want to make sure I do my chain of three. Oops. Two, three. And I'm going to end by slip stitching into the top of my beginning chain three. And you should have a total of those eight double crochet three together. Now I'm going to change colors here. So I am going to tie off. And I'm going to clip my yarn and I'm going to bring in a new color to start round two. So, clip that off. Okay. So, you can work in any one of these chain or start in any one of these chain three spaces that you'd like. I'll probably just start somewhere where near where I left off right here. So, now we're going to be doing the double crochet three together again, but we're going to be working them into the chain three spaces. Okay, I'm just gonna start right here. And we're gonna start right here into the chain three space. Okay, I am going to try to hide these tails so that go, but if not, we can sew them in later. We're gonna start off by chaining three and we're gonna work that partial uh, double crochet three together, just like we did here. So I did the chain three and now I'm gonna go yarn over, go back through that space and drop a loop yarn over and go through the first two and I'm going to yarn over again go through the same space drop a loop yarn over go through the first two I got three loops on my hook this time for the beginning one I'm going to yarn over and go through all three like that and now what I'm going to do is chain three again one two three and I'm going to go back into the same chain space and work a double crochet three together so right back into the same spot, I'm going to work a double crochet three together. Got four loops on my hook, yarn over and go through all four. And then I'm going to chain three like that. And I'm going to jump to the next chain three space and I'm going to work a double crochet three together, a chain three and a double crochet three together all into this chain three space so i'm going to yarn over jump over here and do my double crochet three together got four loops on my hook yarn over go through all four then i'm going to chain three slide that over and do another double crochet three together into the same spot four loops on my hook yarn over and go through all four and I'm going to chain three and then I'm going to jump over here to my next chain three space and I'm going to work a double crochet three together a chain three and a double crochet three together all into the, this chain three space here and this is what we're going to repeat all the way around chain of three slide it over do another one sorry about that just like that 
then I'm going to chain three and repeat right over here in this chain three spot. I will work double crochet three together, chain three, double crochet three together. Then I'll chain three and jump over here to this spot and repeat. So I'm going to continue that until I get back around here to the beginning. All right, I'm coming to the end here and you should have 16 now of these double crochet three together, counting this first one, which was kind of a, a weird one. But go ahead and chain three after your last one. And we're going to end by slip stitching into the top of the beginning chain three. And I'm going to switch colors again. So I'm going to tie off my yarn. And we'll go back to my brown this time. I'm going to clip off that tail on the back so it's not in my way. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my brown. But remember, you can use any colors that you that you choose. All right, we can start in any one of these chain three spaces that we want. Again, I'm kind of kind of start near where I left off. It, you know, it doesn't really matter. But so I'm just going to pull my yarn through, and I'm going to chain one. Now I'm going to go right back into that same spot, and I'm going to work a single crochet. Just like that. Now I'm going to do a chain of five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to single crochet into my next chain three space. Just like that. And that's what I'm going to repeat all the way around. So I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to single crochet into my next chain three space. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet into my next chain three space. Chain five. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five single crochet into my next chain three space. So I'm going to repeat this pattern of chain five and single crochet into my next chain three space until I get back around here to this last space. And that's where I'll meet back up with you at. All right, I'm coming to the end of round three and I'm going to show you how that, how we're going to finish it off. So I just single crocheted there in my last chain three space. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work a chain of two, one, two and I am going to double crochet into the first single crochet right here. So I'm going to yarn over. I chain two. I'm going to yarn over and go into this single crochet here and work a double crochet like that. And that will end the round. Now, the reason why we ended it like that is because it brings us right back here to the center. So we don't have to do a bunch of slip stitching. It ends it right in the center of this chain space. And that's where we're going to start our next row, right in the center. So now at the end of round three, you should have 16 of these chain three spaces. So let's go ahead and start round four. And we're, we're going to chain one. See how that brought us right in the center? Right where we want to be. I'm going to go back into the same space and work a single crochet. Just like that. Now I'm going to repeat kind of what we just did on row four, or row three for row four. I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to single crochet into this next chain space. Chain five and single crochet into the next chain space. Chain five, and single crochet into the next chain space. And I'm going to repeat this pattern until I get back around, right over here to our last chain spot. And I'll meet back up with you there and we'll end it uh, the same way we did before. All right, I'm coming to the end of round four, and I just single crocheted into my last chain space. So we're going to end it the same way that we did row 
or round three. So we're going to do a chain of two and then we're going to do a double crochet into our first single crochet over here. So yarn over, go into that first single and do a double crochet. That will end round four, brings us right into the center of that chain space, just like we want to be. And you should still have 16 of the chain spaces. Now we're going to square off our circle. So I'm going to start out by chaining one and putting a single crochet right here into this chain space. Just like that. Now I'm going to work a chain of five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to single crochet into the next chain space. So right here. Again, I'm going to work a chain of five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to single crochet into my next chain space. Now I'm going to work the corner. So I'm going to jump to, I'm not going to chain, I'm going to jump to my next chain space right here and I'm going to work three double crochets. So I just did my single, so I'm going to yarn over and into this space right here, it's going to be one of our corners, I'm going to work three doubles. There's one, two, and three, and then I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. I'm going to go back into the same chain space and I'm going to work three more double crochets. One, two, and there is three. So that is one of our corners. Okay, so we're going to repeat what we did here again. So we are going to start off by jumping to the next chain three space right here and just putting a single crochet into it like that. Then we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet into our next chain space. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet into our next chain space. So we got two chain five spaces between the corners. That's what we're going to do. So our next chain space, we're going to work a corner again. So I did my single crochet there. I'm not going to chain. I'm just going to yarn over and do three double crochets into the next chain space. So there's one, two, three, and then I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. Go back into the same spot and work three more doubles. One, two, and there's three. So we have two corners done so far so let's continue around and repeat again so we're going to jump to the next chain three space and just do a single crochet into it like that now i'm going to start by chain of five and i'm going to put a single crochet into the next chain space chain five again single crochet into the next chain space so there's two chain five spaces so we're going to go ahead and do our corner into the next one so i'm going to work three doubles one two three chain three and three doubles in the same chain space that and I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch. And there is our third corner made. Okay, we are going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet into our next chain space. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. 
single crochet into our next chain space like that and now we are going to put a corner into our last chain space right here because right here is where we began so go into it and mark your three doubles chain three and three more doubles like that so now we have our four corners and we are going to end round five by slip stitching into our first single crochet just like that now i'm going to change colors again and i'm going to do one more round round six so it looks you can use a little block and if you want i'm going to go around it with some single crochet to make it uh, a little bit more square than what it is so i'm going to go back to my burgundy color and i think i'm going to start starting i'm going to start in the corner right here i'm going to pull my yarn through chain one and i am going to work four single crochets into this chain three space so there's one two if you need to slide them over that's fine but you want to put four there's three and four now i'm going to put one single crochet into the next four stitches so these three doubles and that single crochet is each going to get a single one two three and then single crochet here gets a single like that and now this chain five space i'm going to go right through the space and i'm going to work five single crochets there's one two three four and don't split your yarn like i just did there's five and then in this single crochet i want to put one single crochet into that five single crochets into this next chain five space one two three four five one single crochet into the next four stitches so one in the single crochet and one in each of these three doubles so there's one in the single and one in each of the three doubles and now we're at our corner our chain three space of the corner and i'm going to work my four double crochets there's one two three four one single crochet into the next four stitches so one in each of these three doubles and one into that single one two three and then five single crochets into the next chain five space so there's one two three four and five one single crochet into the next single crochet five single crochets into the next chain five space one two three four five one single crochet into the next four stitches which is the single crochet and one in each of the three doubles one two three four four single crochets into the chain three space of the corner 
So that was one, two, three, four, one single crochet into the next four. And we're just going to kind of repeat that all the way around. We'll have to fiddle with these chain spaces or these single crochets along the chain spaces. But I'm going to continue that until I get back to the starting point. Okay, I've made it back to my starting point and I'm actually going to do a round seven. I'm going to go around again with another row of single crochet. I'm going to use the same color. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to slip stitch it here together. I'm going to use a stitch marker. I'm just going to use a piece of yarn. So here I am back at my starting point and I put four single crochets in this stitch or in this corner. So I'm going to put my stitch marker here. That way I know where I end and where I begin. So I'm going to put one single crochet into the first single crochet of those four in the corner. And then I'm going to put two single crochets into the next single crochet. two single crochets into the next single crochet and one single crochet into the last single crochet of the corner so the four single crochets in the corner is one single crochet in the first one two single crochets in the second two single crochets in the third and one single crochet in the fourth and now I will continue my pattern of putting one single crochet in every stitch across. You'll be able to see them really well now until I get to my next corner. I'm almost there. All right, I'm at my four stitches that are that I put into the corner. So the first one gets one single crochet into it. The second one gets two single crochets into the same stitch. The third stitch in the corner gets two single crochets into the same stitch. And the last stitch of the corner gets one single crochet. And then I'm going to repeat this by putting, I'm going to start again by putting one single crochet in every stitch until I get to my next corner. And I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around until I make it back to my stitch marker. All right, I'm coming to the end here. I'm at my stitch marker. So what I'm gonna do is just end by slip stitching into my first single crochet. And then I will tie off. I'm gonna hide any remaining tails that I have. Take out my stitch marker. Now, if it's a bit wavy on you, that is fine. You can <coughs> take it and fix it like this. You can also wet block it, which means uh, you would submerge it in water, wring it out, and then you can lay it out on your table and fiddle with it like this. And then when it dries, it'll be in the same spot. Um, also, when you sew it together, it will straighten up any of these crooked edges. If you're going to make more of these and make something out of it, that is fine. But it just takes a little manipulation on these chain spaces from that sixth row to get them all evenly spaced out okay i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna hide my tails real quick all right that's it i'm finished there it is i think it turned out pretty good i hope you guys enjoy my tutorial please don't forget to like and subscribe um and check me out on instagram you can make what you make this or anything that you make yarn crochet knit i'd really like to see it you can hashtag me at bag of day crochet on Instagram and I'll check it out. Uh, don't forget to check out my all my hundreds of other crochet tutorials, all my yarn content, all my videos. Hit that subscribe button, hit that turn your notifications on, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Alright. Take care everybody. Bye bye guys.